Welcome back. We're just a few weeks away from most of our East Texas school districts heading back to the classroom, so it's important to check on your children's eye health. Joining me now is Dr. Ronald Benner from the American Optometric Association. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. So can you discuss the impact of eye health on childhood development and learning? Absolutely. The American Optometric Association believes that eye health and vision disorders can greatly affect a child's school success and their performance. You know, 80% of learning happens through the visual system. And when there's defects in that system, it, it can greatly affect academic performance, um, athletic engagement, social interaction, and even a child's self-esteem. Unfortunately, children don't always know what's normal and what's not normal, or even how to express those, those concerns. So it's important for parents to get their kids in to an optometrist, their local optometrist, for that annual comprehensive eye exam. Most definitely, and I was one of those children that even though I got glasses, I still wouldn't wear them in school. <laughs> so, um, but how has the rise of screen time impacted eye health and vision? Uh, since the pandemic, the rise in digital devices has gone through the roof. It's estimated now that children spend six to nine hours a day on digital devices between school and home. That's a lot of visual fatigue for the eyes. So we don't know the, the detrimental effects of that or if there are, but we do know that children need to practice good hygiene while using those digital devices. The simplest thing we can recommend <clears throat> is what's called our 20-20-20 rule, meaning that every 20 minutes, looking at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. That allows the muscle system to relax and basically reset itself before returning back to that digital device. In addition to that, we also encourage parents to help children get off of their digital devices. Uh, recent studies have shown that two plus hours a day can reduce the amount of myopia development and progression. That's significant over a child's lifetime. Yes, and that, that is a good, good rule to follow. Uh, so why is it so important for children to receive regular in-person eye exams? Well, just as children grow during their school age years, their eyes can change during the school age years. So annual comprehensive eye exams are what we think is the standard. Um, school screenings only test visual acuity at 20 feet. That's about 4% of the information that we find during a comprehensive in-person eye exam. We're testing for binocularity, focusing, teaming, tracking, all the things that, that help a child succeed in the classroom. In addition to the visual function, we're also looking for ocular health and eye disease processes that could be detrimental to a child's normal development. Your optometrist can find 270 diseases during that eye exam. Wow. Yeah, well, where can we find more information for this? Because I'm sure parents are going to want to know. Well, we would encourage parents to visit our AOA doctor locator that can be found at AOA.org slash I deserve more. Um, find your local optometrist schedule an appointment, get your child in for their uh, for their annual in-person exam and help them be successful in the classroom this year. All right, and before I let you go, any other tips or anything that you'd like to give parents this year? Um, just that visual function is often overlooked. We think of our teeth and getting in to get our dental exams, but we can't skip and overlook the, the necessity of getting that annual comprehensive exam. Most definitely. Well, Dr. Brenner, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back.